and YouTube family, it's your girl Lena, and I'm back with another makeup tutorial. And this time, obviously, it's on this look that I did right here. I'm thinking that I'm gonna call it like Somerset Burst or Star Burst or something with a sun and a burst. I don't even know. If y'all can create a name for this look, comment down below, guys. It's super freaking hot out here in Oklahoma, like for once. So I was like, why not create that on my face? So I did this super bronzed orange sunny whatever you want to call it type look and if you are a subscriber i want to say thank you for coming back to my channel if you are a new person make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below make sure that you hit that bell so you get a notification when i post these new looks and if you like how this look is looking give it a big thumbs up and you guys please stay tuned to the video <laughs> carved out my eyebrows and I'm just buffing that extra concealer in and I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium and I'm going to use that as my primer on my lids. And with this look we're going to use Morphe's 35B palette and I'm going to take that orange color and I'm going to stamp it into my crease. I'm stamping while also doing a swirling motion just so I can get that super pigmented right on my crease. These are not my real eye color guys. These are contacts from So Looks on IG and I'll tag them here and I have a code with them down below. And now I'm going to take this yellow color and I'm going to put that right above the orange and buff it up into my brow. in my crease and blend down because I don't want it to go up any higher than where it is. Shout out to that foundation stain that I got on my leggings that I turned into a headscarf. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in light and I'm going to take that neutral color and I'm going to use that to cut my crease with a flat concealer brush. If you have watched my other videos, you know that whenever I do cut creases, it actually takes me a while in real life. So just be aware that like this is super edited and just take your time whenever you're cutting your crease just so you can get something that's super sharp and crisp. because we're going to create a winged effect. And then we're going to take that red again and we're going to put that on the outer one third of our lid. to the red. And then we're going to 
take that white and we're gonna put that on the remaining part of our lid and blend that into the orange. And then to create that glitter liner, I'm gonna use the NYX glitter glue and I'm gonna use a small angled brush and I'm just gonna apply that glue right around my crease. For glitter, I'm going to use this Gold King Tuts Glitter by Slate with J, and I'm just going to use another small angle brush and then put that right on top of the glue. And I do have a discount code with them, you guys. It is down in the description below. Let's, I'm not lying, I just spilled this everywhere. And then for liner, I'm gonna use my Dual Colors Liner. It's a felt tip liner, and this is like the best eyeliner I have ever used in my life. It goes on so smooth, and it glides just right across everything without like any of those bumps or hiccups. And then it's like a Sharpie, honestly. It's like a eye Sharpie. I freaking love it. Alganist illuminator drops in pearl underneath my foundation so that I can get that really luminous glow. I'm just adding extra drops right here just because those are where I put my highlighter down and I really want my highlighter to pop. And of course, I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Desert Beige. And I'm going to apply that all over my skin with this stipple brush from Real Techniques. just to crispen up and clean up my wings. And then to set my liquid foundation, I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation in Tan Medium Honey and a big powder brush. To that cream contour kick by Anastasia, I'm going to use the banana and the neutral color mix to do my highlighting. And then to contour, I use the Fenty Matchstick in Truffle. Techniques Beauty Sponge. I accidentally buffed away part of my eyebrow, so I just used the back of an eyeshadow brush and I just blended that right back in. If you blend both of them, like both the highlight and the contour in at the same time, it saves up so much time, you guys. So that's why I started doing it this way in this video.
Wet Elf Powder Foundation again in ivory and a big fluffy brush and I just put that everywhere where I put that light foundation down. And I want this to be a really bronzy look so I used Urban Decay's Naked Flush Contour Palette and I just used that darker color as you saw in a small angled brush and I just put that everywhere where I put that truffle match stick down at. cheeks a little bit so use the Becca bronzer in deep and then to line my lower lash line I use this brown eyeliner by pure cosmetics and then to smoke out my lower lash line I'm gonna use this orange color and a small blending brush and I'm just gonna put that right under And I'm also going to use this frosty yellow color to also buff it out underneath. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to use the Her Royal Bundles Lashes in Royal Tea. And yes, I do have a discount code with them as well. It is down below. to blend I use that better than sex mascara again and my lippy of choice today you guys is lime crimes liquid lipstick in the color Viper Cosmetics Glitter Lip Topper and it's this orange gold color and it's beautiful. I hope you guys are ready to be blown away by this highlighter. It's by Lux Glam Cosmetics on IG and then it's the color Cleopatra. And look at this payoff, you guys. It is like a trophy wife, like how Rihanna's Fenty Beauty trophy wife is, but it just blends in so much better into my skin. enjoyed this look as much as I did creating it for you and you guys make sure that you subscribe so you see additional videos soon. Bye!